Tonight, the stars come out in Palm Springs for the 30th annual Palm Springs International Film Festival. Making them shine is Mary Hard. She is the host of tonight's Film Awards Gala at the Convention Center. I had the opportunity to sit down with her yesterday when she took a break from rehearsal. Welcome, Mary. Thank you. Welcome to the desert, but you already live here. Do you know what? I'm definitely a part-timer. And uh, every year I say my New Year's resolution is to spend more time in the desert. I love it here. What is it about? What's the number one thing you love about it? Oh, gosh. I, you know, it, it is that notch more laid back than L.A., certainly. And we don't have the traffic issues. Although I see around the desert our traffic issues are becoming slightly more. But it's nothing compared to the city. But I love, I have come so much to love the mountains at sunset, at sunrise. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. Pretty magic. Yeah. This is your 16th year. How did you first get involved with the film festival? Well, Entertainment Tonight had been supportive. We had covered the film festival since Sonny Bono started it as mayor. And, of course, we'd covered Sonny, Sonny and Cher, and then Sonny and Mary, and the creation of the film festival. And we always did things because at, at the heart of Palm Springs is old Hollywood. So we would, we would cover the film festival. And then one year, and I'm not sure who's idea it was 16 probably 17 years ago now they said would you be willing to host our gala and I said sure I'm a part-time resident I come and I play in that craft Nabisco the old dinosaur golf tournament I love it there and I, I they can't get rid of me well and, and they're glad that they can't because you've helped build this to what it is today you know Harold Matzner is so incredibly complimentary. He has said that, and I just, I always go, thank you, thank you. I can't take that one iota of that credit, but I do love being a part of it, and I, I love it because it is done in such a first-class way. The people I see every year here are pretty much the same people who have been here for the same 16 years, and they were here longer. Yeah than that and I'm very comfortable very much at home and it, it's like okay yeah I can handle 2400 people it's my family <laughs> so so a gal from South Dakota yeah. and um, do you stop to ever think about where you are today and and the and the path you travel to get here I do yeah I have always appreciated being from Sioux Falls South Dakota in fact, about three months ago, I took my dad, who is now 90, he's almost 93, back to South Dakota to visit a couple of, believe it or not, older people <laughs> than that. And um, I will never, I, I will never lose my appreciation for those Midwestern values. The pace of a slower life, though, I have, I've loved Los Angeles. My career here was wonderful. And, um, and you know what, I, I still love having my foot in the entertainment door. And that's, so that brings us to today. I mean, you're yeah. doing this, you're doing, and you've been doing this for 16 years. But what are you doing when you're not doing the film festival? Oh gosh, you know what, I don't know what happened, but there was something about quote unquote retiring from <laughs> E.T., leaving E.T., <laughs> and things got busier. And, it, you know, it involves a lot of wonderful charity work. Um, we are supporters of Eisenhower here, but also involved in hospitals. I've been on the board of Children's Hospital Los Angeles for, I've been involved there for over 30 years since I started ET, and uh, the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles. So there are incredibly involving and wonderful things. How many films have you seen this year? So I will have seen every single film um, I'm going home to watch two of them tonight. Every single film that is uh, being honored here really? tonight and many others. Yeah, almost everything that you're seeing the nominations for our award show here and for the Golden Globes. Are you going to be here tonight? Uh, I wish. <laughs> it's really fun. I wish. Oh, do you have a room great. at your table? <laughs> <laughs> I don't sit there. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. You're doing, I heard you're doing double duty. You're doing E.T. in the, yeah. in the back and then you're running out here and doing and being the host. It's really fun. It, it for me, it's uh, you know my feet hate me at the end of the night, but it's really fun because I see people I've interviewed so many times before, and this is kind of stress-free. Yeah. They know they're getting an award. They know what their job is. It's not to sit 
and be nervous and bite their nails wondering if they're going to win. And they have a ball. I Caleb. bet. Thanks to you. Mary Hart, thank you. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. It's just an absolute delight, I, I gotta find tell you. really inspiring. I, I know. And, um, you know, talk about somebody who is, loves what she does and did and is still doing it. And there's a level of gratitude underneath Absolutely. that you sense. Absolutely. Like her a lot.